start. Effectiveness of that first serve is won almost 90% of the points when it finds its mark. Oh, that was so intelligent, took some pace off. Perfect service game thus far, all first serves. Two hours and 21 minutes of hard fought action for Dadis, his triple match point. Gaddis work. In fact, Gaddis better not get tentative. Oh, there's fireworks all over the place. Not only off the court, but even more so on it. Still match point. Such a choke. I'll tell you what, Doug. He'd give a good portion of his prize money right now for a big first serve. Adrenaline coursing through the veins. Federer and does it here on the hallowed turf in Mason, Ohio. There'll be celebrations in the streets tonight in Cyprus because Baghdadis is one and three. Six four, four six, six four. What a bitter pill to swallow for Nadal. Never has been beyond the semi-finals here. This year doesn't reach the semis and for Baghdadis. What a difference a year makes, Robbie. Last year came in ranked 109th in the world, lost in the first round of qualifying to Robert Kendrick. Now he's beaten the number one player in the world. Well, it's amazing how often we see it with guys who re rediscovered their love for the game this season. We've seen it with David Nalbandian especially. But again, as well with Marcus back there, sometimes you've got to hit rock bottom to realize how good you got it. Nadal certainly not playing his best tennis. Too many unforced errors, but hats off to this guy who's made the most of the situation tonight. Yeah, he really kept the pressure on the doll. Had that one little blip. He had the set and the break. And the game point, he threw in a double fault. Double faults played a big role in the match tonight. Baghdadis' double let Nadal hang around in the second. And then Nadal serving at four all in the third. Break point threw in his only double of the third set. Who would have thunk it? 
Well, let's see if we can break it down just a little bit more. Bagdadis was dominant with the aces, but eventually what it meant to me was look at the winners to unforced errors ratio. Bagdadis was so much more solid throughout the entire match than Nadal was. He couldn't stay with Bagdadis from the back of the court. And he had to force the issue. He had to change his style of play, and it almost worked. Yeah, when was the last time you saw Nadal make 41 unforced errors in a match? Certainly wasn't himself this evening. But uh, heads off to Marcus Bagdadis, surviving more often than not uh, when he was break point down. Again, a feather in his cap for doing so. So it's been a fantastic night all round for the Cypriot. And he's in the final four.